the last few years, there's been such a hype from everyone on being a developer and learning to code and how great it is of a lifestyle. But is it? And honestly, I'm one of those people. I've been pushing it on my social media. There's definitely good things about being a developer. There's definitely some ugly truths when you choose the world of development. And now being in 2023, we're getting layoffs, we're getting unemployment rates that are quite high, and maybe it's time to discuss the dark side of being a developer. But before we do, if you would like to see some more content and for me to show up on your feed, please subscribe. It will mean a lot. So before I get into the juicy stuff, I think it would be good for us to understand what is a developer, because nowadays it's such a general term. So. A developer is a technology professional who works on builds and creates software, websites, applications, processes, workflows, and even other systems. And yes, the main thing about being a developer is you know how to code, regardless of the language. And while it's a very popular field with many, many advantages, there's always some disadvantages. There's always going to be some cons. So here's why being a developer can be sometimes not so good and nobody actually talks about it. Here are some reasons. Number one, you are on your own most of the time. Now, as a developer, it is pretty solo work. You're going to be coding and you do that by yourself. So yes, you may be responsible for one part of a larger piece of code, but you're still responsible. And then when your code gets reviewed or it's in production and if there's any mistakes or issues, if you have a bad day or you do something wrong or things change, then it's on you, which yes, is understandable, but it can be extremely stressful. And sometimes you feel like you're being judged. Some people do handle that very well and other people would prefer not to be in situations like that. Number two, the next ugly truth is that you can reach a limit ceiling. So I've actually had this conversation with a lot of developers in the past, and I think it is a common issue that happens a lot. So when you're a developer and you choose your expertise, you would do it consistently for the next five to eight years if you're very serious about it. But then you often reach a ceiling where you feel like you can't grow knowledge-wise too much. Now, that doesn't mean that you suddenly know everything in your field. It means that most of the new things you learn is an extension of something else that you've done and you just don't get excited about it anymore because you know that you'll probably learn to figure it out. So interestingly, you'll come across devs who've done extensive work in the field and then they do something totally different. They change languages. They even change jobs. That being said, the other ugly truth is that you can sometimes also feel inadequate. So at the same time, even though maybe you feel like you've reached the ceiling for a specific code or platform, make no mistake because you can also feel inadequate. Sometimes you feel like you don't know as much as some other developers or you've seen other devs code, which is so much better than yours and you just feel inadequate. Sometimes you're trying to learn something and it is just so vast and extensive that you get overwhelmed and you think that you don't know what you're doing. And it may not even be true, but I do think that this field is so diverse, it's so broad, it constantly changes, so you can definitely feel overwhelmed. The other ugly truth, and the one that we always see on social media, no, you can't code on the beach. Now, I know Instagram has these nice videos and pictures of people coding on the beach, on islands, by pool sides, in the middle of a restaurant. Most of the time you can't do that. Most people can't do that. You really have to concentrate when you're developing. And if you're working for a company, they are going to call you. You're going to have catch up meetings. You probably need more than one monitor. You're probably going to be on deadlines. So it's not all about coffee shop and Starbucks most of the time. I mean, you really want to if you can, but I think long term, most devs generally like a quiet place to code. Like I said, you really have to concentrate most time. So you really want to limit the distraction and it may not be best to be in a social surrounding. That being said, there are some people who like coding in a social surrounding. The other ugly truth is that you deal with troubleshooting and errors most of the time. So a lot of your dev time is problem solving. It will be fixing your mistakes, fixing someone else's mistakes, accounting for changes, accounting for scenarios that are not planned. So much so where a lot of the time you may not develop or add to your script or your project. It would just mean fix, fix, fix. Now that can be pretty boring, especially if you're doing it continuously. 
but it is a very important skill. And I'm sure, as you can tell, some people would just not enjoy doing that all the time, which is understandable. The other ugly truth is the market is growing. So specifically in 2023, I think if you want to become a developer, it's way harder to get into this as opposed to how it was a few years back. There are a lot of people more aware of what it is to become a developer and people are gravitated to the lifestyle of working from home, playing with some cutting edge technology. It's a lot more easier now than ever. If you're looking for entry level jobs, it just seems like a good lifestyle. That being said, if you are looking for entry level jobs, you're going to have a lot more competition, which is why it's so important to get that experience by yourself and do projects, do courses, create a social presence. So you'll notice the field is becoming a lot more competitive than it was a few years ago. The other ugly truth, and I have to mention it, AI might take over. Now, this is more speculation and to be honest, I don't believe it, but there is a possibility where maybe a lot of entry-level positions can be replaced by AI sometime in the future, which could mean that there might be less demand for dev jobs. Now, will this happen quite soon? I doubt so. Obviously, chatbots still need human intervention. Is it a possibility? Of course. And if it is a possibility, it will unfortunately affect more so your entry-level dev jobs than anything. So those are briefly just my ugly truths about becoming a developer. Now, you're not going to experience every one of these at the same time, but I feel like you will experience this within your career. And I felt like this side of being a developer is hardly spoken about. It's still a great career choice to get into if this is something that you enjoy. But also remember, every career has its pros and cons, but your passion should see you through. If you like this video and want to get started in development, why don't you check out my YouTube video where you can get started in Python in under 15 minutes. Or if you just want more content like this, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And until next time, cheers.